Hey everybody, welcome back. New day, new project. Obviously this still isn't completed, but we are uh, cleaning up the 2096. This is actually getting returned. We get to clean her up so it goes back looking beautiful. So that also means taking off anything that we've added to the cart. That's still ours. We gotta get our hitch off. That'd be a sad deal to watch that leave. So this is a hitch that we added on. We built it and we don't want it to leave because we'll either have to put it on the next cart or our 2596 to pull our uh, bean heads. So this is what we pull our bean heads behind the cart with. This works fantastic. Speaking of something else that needs a good washing, oof, I just love that stuff. Brody, you, need a scrubber? you got it all wet where I'm trying to work. You want that thing though before you get it off. Brody, it's gonna drip on me now. Well, I got it off, it dripped on too. We got some quite some fabrication here. We got little bushings, little shims, re rods. We're scrubbing, huh? I don't know. Are we not? I don't think so. This, okay. this, this ain't road grind. We'll let the foam do what it's designed to do. Scrub for us. It is so easy to wash equipment when there ain't mud up to here. And this is all flung. This is a breeze without having to fire hose stuff off. You guys all remember how horrible last year was. This is going quick. We'll probably have this done in an hour and a half. I've been running the forklift, so I lift him up and drive next to it. He just focuses on one level and it works pretty good, doesn't it, Brody? It's working good. Yeah, it's working good. It's working so much better than fire hosing mud off. You don't like your new wash gear? Junk. Different pairs than they still are junk. <laughs> they fall off the shoulder. When you get it too tight, and it's too tight down there, you know. <laughs> what are you trying to scare me about? I'm leaving. You're out of here. Are you not doing your job? This ain't my job. That's the way to do it, right there. That works great. So Dad's wanting to get this clay pile out of the field and move to a different location because obviously this is a field that didn't get farmed this year because of the Ben project and needing space, but it kind of froze. I don't know if you can move it or not. Is it hard? It's hard is. <laughs> is it? I got into it, but there's a lot there. Yeah, I know. It's soft down on the I imagine. It's a lot of work. Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely not ideal to be in the field, but I'd like to haul it to its final resting place instead of just move it to where we've been storing clay piles. That's an eyesore and a weed fest. There's a lot of clay there. He says it's very soft underneath the pile, which I can imagine it's not froze and then he's spinning. Look at that. So right there's the clay pile, y'all have seen that, where we put it. Behind the scraper right here is where we normally keep a clay pile. And it's nice to have some clay around for building approaches and random miscellaneous jobs that you need some uh, dirt to build with, but I'd almost like it to not be on this yard because it is an eyesore. I think she cleaned up nice. I don't see any missed spots. Oh, I see one. I, you missed a spot. Oh, she looks pretty good. 
Well, we got Dad out doing some more excavating work. What do you want to do, Brody? He said that we have to clean around the bends in the snow and in the ice and the... I'm not doing that right now. Yeah, it's almost dinner time. Are we going to work on this? I don't know. Not sure. Uh. <laughs> I could polish this. Yeah? You could do anything. You could polish them all. I wouldn't complain. We found a new project. Well, we've done multiple projects. You want to tell them how much fun it was to shovel a dump truck load of bees wings that were froze to the ground? Yeah, where was that thing to show them all the misery? Yeah. Attitudes were poor. Yeah, and I don't know why I'm still here. <laughs> so, we got our garden hose. I know we talked about this in a previous video for our spot free rinser here. Rolling it around is kind of a pain. Rolling it back to where we have water Take is a pain. Tie off because we need to know where, what height to, the handle clears. So we're gonna put a garden hose here, reel here with a 100 foot hose, and then we're gonna mount this to a garden hose, this garden hose, which actually I'm gonna replace with a better one because this one's kinked in multiple places and I don't trust it in there. Uh, and we're gonna run this to that hose reel. So is it a finger pincher? Kind of, make Doug will scream. And then it comes in here, and it will always be hooked up. So the hose goes down right here. So the fresh water, or the rinser, will sit here. We got a drain here for it to purge when it's filling. And we got water to supply to it. So all we'll have to do when we want to use it is plug it into the wall, and go in here and we've got it ready to roll. So we got to weld it on. Well, we're not going to weld it. We're going to weld bolts to the I-beam, and then and then it'll break, and then we can't get it off. Is this? It is came pre-damaged in packaging. The handle was bent, but is that the good height right here? Yeah, I think so. I think that'll be just fine. Let me get a marker. So Brody says I'm going to weld. Want I don't want to hear no lip about the quality of the job. Okay. We're having a weld off. Yeah. All right, let's do it. How do I hold the camera and weld at the same time? You ready? I think so. Cover. I think to got make it. this a fair challenge, you have to weld with your left hand and hold the camera. No. <laughs> Pretty nice for one handed. Look at that. Look at that. Weak. Weak? Remember, one hand held like I ain't, this. I ain't holding the camera. You're holding it. I ain't holding nothing. I'll hold the camera and hold the bolt. What? I would love to kick that right now. I think I'm winning. Why? That looks like chicken. Chicken you, poop. You look like chicken poop. <laughs> oh, you're outdoing yourself. It's getting better. All right, Brody. Brody, Chet. Hey, attention. <laughs> uh, don't know where my player is at. Pay attention right there. Missed. I think I got. Hey, I was one-handed and left-handed. I don't care. And you had more room. You know what it's like using the left hand. As Douglas says, shouldn't even be used. Shouldn't even be there. I ain't left-handed. No, you For aren't. Things. Do they, they line up? No, it's so crooked. Yeah, this is what I figured. We should have used smaller bolts. Who welded that top one on? It's not even close. That's you. <laughs> it's not even close at all. Well, that's not good. It's not good. We're going to have to ream the holes out big, like half inch. Oh. 
get the reamer. Good thing nobody knows about this except you and me. <laughs> oh yeah, that's gonna be nice. Yep, we've outdid ourselves again. Nobody needs to know the secrets that we had to do to make it work, but we got her. We got her. <laughs> that is one that only me and you know about. We got a bunch of loops. So we always do this, especially on a new hose. These, uh, what are these called? Flexzillas? Flexzilla. Flexzilla hose, which is, in my opinion, the only hose to own. Air and water. But kink it off, keep it under pressure when rolling it up. They then don't flatten out and cause wow, issues. Did a better job. Look at that roll job. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> My arm is tight. Okay, we're good. It's, it's under pressure. You want some water? Well, it's half full of water. How are we going to get this over that pipe? Love you, man. We're getting her placed into her final resting spot. So, we got our final product installed. This is where it's going to sit. How this thing works is it's basically a reverse osmosis system. I can't say that word. Right. That uh, is on a rolling jug. Um, put your hard water in there or soft water in there. Goes in here. This is the drain for any dirty water. It's going to go into the septic system. And whenever we want to use this thing, we need to get a decent plug in, but we got an extension cord right now. Yeah, fire up. Fire up. We got to pump out the nasty water, anyways. So. So now that's going underneath the concrete right now. Over to here. And when she primes up. Come on. Gurgling. It's a lot of feet here. Once all the air gets out. And we're pushing the unclean water out right now. But now we'll just plug that in. And be able to rinse down equipment. It's gonna be slick. That thing like actually got some pretty good pressure. It's pressurized! What I had envisioned in my mind. Not always does that work, but it's working excellent. It works. That's good pressure. Oh, the thing's impressive. No more hand wiping down equipment. Hey! That's washed! Fuck it. <laughs> oh yes, Brody, I got it. One exhaust Woo! pipe installed. It's gonna look pretty mean with two of them. I figured it out. Being these were off a different model of your truck. They're kind of set up differently, but you know, there's a way around every issue. Am I normally, safe? am I safe? Yeah, it's all done. It's ready for road on this side. Quitting time. We gotta go unload some tin. Out of your trailer, that sounds it's fun. Been, it's only been two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go do that, but that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.